Hi guys, good evening, and welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in tonight's video, I will be discussing my film review. Even though it's a few days late, I wanted to get my review and my opinion out there. This will be my spoiler-filled film review for the new horror comedy, The Dead Don't Die. It came out about a week ago. I just saw it the other night, and uh, I'm feeling good enough now to finally get my review up, and uh, I got a lot to say about it. Now, before I go on and I continue, of course, please be warned this is going to be a spoiler filled film review again if you have not seen the movie the dead don't die and you would like to do not keep watching or listening to this video as i will be going into major spoilers so you have been warned that being said let's jump right into it um, I enjoyed it. I, uh, I very, very much enjoyed it. It wasn't the greatest zombie film, but it was pretty, still pretty damn entertaining. I mean, it was just so quirky and, um, awkward, but it had a certain charm and an appeal to it. It's like, what if a zo the zombie apocalypse broke out in, like, the smallest town ever in the middle of nowhere of the USA, and, like, how would the authorities, or how would people react or handle it? And it had like kind of this weird indie Wes Anderson vibe type of feel to it. Uh, but it had a huge star-studded cast and everybody played such an entertaining, delightful character. From Bill Murray as the police chief, Adam Driver as his deputy, and then of course Tilda Swinton as the hysterical caretaker slash alien. Spoiler alert! That was hilarious. And then like um, Donald, uh, Donald Glover as the... As the handy, as the uh, hard uh, hardware store guy, and of course uh, the guy who played uh, I don't remember his name, but Caleb something, the guy who played uh, the kid at the gas station selling all the alien, the alien and Night of the Living Dead merchandise. That that was pretty cool. I liked that. I loved that this zombie film included somebody who was relatively an expert on zombies or uh, the Living Dead in this case, and uh, how he was able to use his knowledge for both survival and for helping his friends. Unfortunately, almost everybody in this movie pretty much met a tragic end with the exception of the old hermit who basically watched everything from the forest through his binoculars. And then uh, Tilda Swinton's character who turned out to be not originally from Scotland, but actually an alien. And that was one of the confusing, more confusing, weird parts of the movie when this flying saucer came out of nowhere and then basically t brought her, like beamed her back up and then took off. And you're like... Okay, how exactly does that play into the story? <laughs> like, how does that have any bearing on what's been happening in the movie so far? But, you know what? It was funny. It was quirky. It was, um, <laughs> it was basically like if people had the most unprepared, mediocre, meh response to an uprising of the undead. Like, just people who could not wrap it around their minds that zombies were out there on the prowl and they just had no way of preparing or defending themselves or their fellow citizens and they're just kind of taking it as they go and their attitude is just so bland like everybody's attitude about it was just so bland and kind of like huh well I guess there are zombies what do we do? <laughs> that was kind of like the overall attitude of almost everybody in the film, except for people who are a bit more frightened than others. But I gotta say, you know, it kind of, <coughs> it kind of captured the essence of a zombie movie. It was just one of the more, <coughs> excuse me, I'm recovering from a cold. It was just one of the more quirkier, funny, unexpected zombie movies, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> that I have ever seen. But overall, I very much enjoyed it. Uh, I might see it a second time. I might not. I might wait till it gets to Redbox or something. But I enjoyed it. I think if you're looking for a good chuckle and you just like zombie movies or survival films, this one definitely uh, is for you. I would check it out if I were you. Uh, if you have seen it, I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you so much for watching this film review here on The Edward. <coughs> Sorry to cut it short, but I need water. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. The Dead Don't Die is now playing in theaters everywhere. Uh, check your local listings for times. So have a wonderful rest of your evening. And of course, until next time, may the force be with you.